Remember Micro Machines? They were like the midget version of Hot Wheels. If one of those things took a wrong turn, you could practically swallow them whoop, right down the pipe. Dangerous for kids? Yes, but I like to live dangerously. And apparently so do a lot of kids, because Micro Machines were so popular, they got their own video game on the NES. Now hold up, before you even pop the game in, how many games do you know have gold cartridges? Yeah, pretty much only the Zelda games and that old school NES World Championship, right? Well guess what, Micro Machines not only had the balls to have a gold cartridge, they had a mysterious switch on the back of the cart. So what'd this thing do? Well a quick search through Stuttering Craig's supercomputer tells us that it lets us switch between the US NTSC version and the European PAL version. That's pretty cool. Anyways, on to the game. Now the game gives you options of going solo or taking a friend head to head, and in both modes you can select from a variety of multicultural characters to choose from, like Joel, the white trash teenager, or Spider, the tough 50s greaser, and Walter, the morbidly obese person. God, lose some weight, you fatty, lay off the pancakes. What really shakes up the game though are the micro machines themselves and the environment you play in. What other game can you drive jeeps on a breakfast table full of random food items? I mean, come on, the track is made of Cheerios. And what other game can you drive through a garage full of random equipment strewn all over the place? And what other game am I gonna be able to fly a chopper through my mom's garden? Nowhere! Except the sequels. But the one thing that owns all of them? The tanks. That's right, the tanks. Sure, they turn like crap, but their ability to fire at your enemies makes it oh, oh, oh so worth it. While I find destroying the computer enemies fun, it isn't nearly as cool as destroying your friends. Craig for the win. Even though Micro Machines is technically an unlicensed game, many consider it one of the best racing games on the NES. Honestly, my only gripe would be the lack of music in the actual races. Well, actually, make that two gripes. There's a noticeable, severe shortage of that fast talking dude from the old school Micro Machine commercials. Whatever happened to that guy anyways? This is the Micro Machine Man, presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trims, stupendous styling, precision paint jobs, working wheels.